In the shifting sands of Indo-Pacific geopolitics, where the specter of advanced air defense systems casts a long shadow over regional stability, Australia has decisively moved to fortify its military capabilities through the acquisition of the Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range, the AARGMER. The nation's commitment to this cutting-edge weapon system, evidenced by a series of substantial procurements through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales Program, underscores a strategic pivot toward deterrence and operational superiority in an increasingly contested theater. In February 2023, the U.S. State Department greenlit Australia's initial purchase of up to 63 AARGMER missiles, complemented by 20 captive air training missiles and dummy air training missiles, at an estimated cost of $506 million, a deal formalized by August 2023 with a $431 million allocation. By September 2024, a second approval followed for 100 additional missiles. Equipped with GPS precise positioning systems featuring Selective Availability Anti-Spoofing Module, or M-Code, alongside critical spares for $405 million. In January 2025, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese's government announced a further investment of up to $650 million to expand this arsenal, signalling an unwavering resolve to bolster the Royal Australian Air Force's war stock. These acquisitions, totaling over $1.5 billion, are not mere transactions, but a calculated response to the evolving threats that define Australia's strategic horizon, reflecting a profound understanding of the region's volatile dynamics. The AARGMER, designed to neutralize enemy radar systems with surgical precision, is a linchpin in Australia's defense calculus. Its multi-mode seeker, integrating GPS, INS navigation, anti-radiation homing, and millimeter wave technology, enables it to engage relocatable integrated air defense systems and counter adversaries employing shutdown tactics to evade detection. With a range approaching 300 kilometers and speeds reaching Mach 4, the missile offers a standoff capability that allows RAF aircraft, including the FA-18F Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, and eventually the F-35A Lightning II to strike high-value targets while remaining beyond the lethal reach of enemy defenses. This is no incremental upgrade. It is a generational leap from the RAF's existing AGM-88 Harm and AGM-88E AARGM, offering double the range and speed, enhanced survivability, and a warhead optimized for modern threats. In a region where potential adversaries wield sophisticated, long-range air defense networks, the AARGMER's ability to suppress and destroy these systems is indispensable. It ensures that Australia's tactical aircraft can penetrate contested airspace, execute suppression and destruction of enemy air defense's missions, and emerge unscathed, a capability that underpins not only national security, but also the broader stability of the Indo-Pacific. Australia's pursuit of the AARGMER is deeply rooted in the imperatives of its 2024 National Defence Strategy, which prioritises long-range strike capabilities and the uplift of guided weapons and explosive ordnance. The Indo-Pacific is no longer a theatre of distant hypotheticals. It is a crucible where great power competition and technological advancements converge to redefine the nature of conflict. The proliferation of integrated air defence systems among regional actors demands a response that is both swift and decisive. The ARGMER 
with its ability to engage targets even when they cease emitting signals, addresses this challenge head-on, offering Australia a technological edge that aligns with its role as a steadfast US ally. The missile's integration into the RAAF's premier platforms enhances not only operational lethality, but also strategic deterrence, signaling to potential adversaries that Australia possesses the means to counter their most advanced defences. This is particularly critical in the Western Pacific, where economic and strategic interests are increasingly vulnerable to disruption, and where Australia's geographic position demands a robust posture to safeguard national sovereignty and regional stability. Yet the significance of the AARGMER transcends its technical specifications. It is a testament to the enduring US-Australia alliance, a partnership forged in the crucible of shared values and mutual security interests. Procured through the FMS process, these missiles reflect a collaborative effort to ensure peace and economic prosperity in a region fraught with uncertainty. The Albanese government's substantial investment in this capability, coupled with its integration into Australia's most advanced aircraft, underscores a broader strategic vision, one that recognises the need for readiness in an era where threats are not only more sophisticated but also more immediate. The AARGMER is not merely a weapon, it is a statement of intent, a declaration that Australia will not be a passive observer in the Indo-Pacific's strategic contest, but an active guarantor of its own security and that of its allies. Beyond its immediate tactical utility, the missile serves as a force multiplier, enabling the RAF to project power across vast distances and maintain operational freedom in environments where adversaries seek to deny it. This acquisition also positions Australia to contribute meaningfully to coalition operations, reinforcing its role as a pivotal player in regional security frameworks. As the RRAF continues to build its war stock and refine its seed-dead capabilities, the RGMER stands as a bulwark against the uncertainties of a rapidly evolving threat landscape, ensuring that Australia remains a formidable force in a region where the stakes could not be higher. In an age of escalating tensions and technological brinkmanship, Australia's investment in the ARGMER is a clarion call for resilience, preparedness and an unwavering commitment to the preservation of a free and open Indo-Pacific. <laughs>